Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well and welcome back to another lesson. If you remember from the previous lesson, what we did is we redirect the users to the different pages, depends if they're admin or normal user. Now in this case, in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, under our routes file right here. We got our web routes. And then I'm going to create another file for admins. So basically all the admin related routes will go into its own file. Now it's not necessary for this application, but I want to show you how to do it because sometimes you're going to have many, many, many routes. All right. Uh, depending on your application. Now for us, I'm just doing this for learning purposes. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new file and we're going to call this admin.php. All right. So all our admin routes is going to go in here. All right. So and then in our web file is this one right here in our web routes. This is basically going to be all the routes related to the, the website, the pages and all that kind of stuff. All right. So how do we link the two? So all we do in, in our routes file right here, what we do is we're just going to require that admin.php. So we're just going to do require, not request, require, and then we can just do a string with admin.php. All right. Now, as you can see, my VS code already picks it up. All right. So what we do now is all our admin routes, is going to go in here so if you want to change anything you can just change it in here all right so now the thing that i want to do now is i want to create that route if you guys remember from the previous lesson if the user logs in they go to the admin forward slash index all right so let's create that route in here in this one right here okay so let's do that now there's a couple of things that we need in here in order for this route file to work obviously we need the php tag so let's just do create that all right so the php all right and now the thing is in here we need to import that illuminate support facade for the routes okay so let's say use illuminate we can actually just copy it let me just show you this one right here just copy that one and paste it in here all right, so that's basically the facade for the routes. So in order to work with the routes, so like this, like if, in order to use these routes, we need to just import it at the top right there. All right. So now the next thing is that we're going to do is we're just going to create a route group. All right. In this route group, I just want to prefix it. So. I want to prefix it with admin. Now the thing is, for me, this works a little bit better if everything is in here. So let's say I want to do anything admin related. I know where to go to to fix it or change it or anything like that. All right. All right. So the next thing, and I want just to do it as. So the as is just basically for the name. Okay name and I'm just going to do admin dot. Now the next part that we're going to do is we're just going to create a function. Now the function is responsible for everything inside here managing all the routes. All right, so let me just do that. Now the thing that I'm going to do is in my app HTTP controllers right here, just create a new folder called admin. So I know that all my admin controllers is going to go inside my admin folder right there. All right. And in my views right here, let's go to our resources views. Now in my views, you create another folder as well for your admin as well. Now, if you downloaded the forum from our GitHub, all this will be already be done and set up like this. All right, so let's create our controller that's going to handle the dashboard for our admins. So under HTTP controllers right there, under admin, so we will just create a dashboard controller for our admin. So let's do that. 
Let's open up our terminal. So PHP Artisan Make Controller. And now we're going to go inside the admin folder and then forward slash. And then in here, we're just going to do a dashboard controller. All right. So basically, this is the dashboard controller that we're talking about. That if the user logs in, they will go here if it's an admin. All right. So let's just, all right. So let's go to our controllers app, ACP controllers inside our admin. You'll see we got our dashboard controller right there. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a public function. Um, yeah, public function, and we're just going to do a construct. Okay, and this is basically we're going to return the middleware. If you guys remember in the previous lesson, this dot middleware. All right, so we're going to return this middleware, and we're going to return that is admin class I like this and the user must be authenticated all right so we can do it like this now the thing is what we can do is we can actually register inside our kernel right here we can actually register that draft right, right here as you can see that auth is here under the kernel and then we can actually just create it as well but for me, I don't, you don't have to do it, but you can go and register. So if we did this, we can just call it as admin like this, and then just bring in the full path basically to that middleware. So app, HTTP, middleware. And then obviously the class is the is admin class like this all right we can do that and then inside our dashboard control instead of bringing in the class right there we can actually reference that is admin string like this okay we can do that but for me i'm i'm not going to do that so i just wanted to show you if you're gonna ask why i don't do it it's just preference i guess all right so admin Class and in the auth we can actually just do the authenticate class like this. You, both ways works and both ways are correct. It's all down to preference. All right. Now the next part that we're going to do is we're going to do a public function and we're just going to do an index. All right. So then we can just return a view. And the view that we're going to return is going to be under the admin folder and that is going to be index all right so let's go to our resources views admin you'll see i wonder if we can must do admin dashboard so let's create a new folder called a dashboard but you see if I do that, all this goes under the dashboard. Ah, but let's just do it like this. So let's just put dashboard. Okay, and inside the dashboard, we're just going to do index. Blade.php. The thing is, the reason why I do this, kind of create a folder structure for myself, more or less the same as what I'm going to do in here, more or less. Because you cannot do all of it inside here as well exactly the same way but you can follow more or less the same structure now the thing is if you if your project grows very big and you just don't put folders and everything like this the problem that you might find is you might not know where everything are and then you're going to struggle to find certain things especially if you're going to debug your code or if you want to add something later because normally the project grows exponentially all right so let me just put put it in here dashboard the index all right as you can see it's got highlighted there so it knows where it is so if i pick it up so i click on it i go right here all right so what i'm going to do inside here i'm just going to copy um this one no that's that welcome one yeah let's copy this welcome right here copy it 
So under the Jetstream installation, you will get the dashboard.blade.php. Just copy everything in there and just paste it inside that index right here. I'm going to just change this. This is the admin page. Now, what I'm going to do is instead of the background being white, I'm just going to make it uh, green. I like the indigo color. Indigo 100. Just to kind of distinguish the two. All right, so let me just close this off. Right, so if you want to register in your kernel and then just, or you can actually just bring in your middleware in here, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to do it like this. Now, the benefit, let me just put it extra here. So if you do do it this way, now in your routes, let me just go in my routes here. So when you bring in your middleware in here, you can actually just refer it to as a string and you don't have to import your class. Just um, tidens, tidies up your routes file as well. So if you do, instead of bringing the class and things like that in here. Okay. So it does help if you do it in here and if you're going to do it in your routes right here. As this is a learning channel. So I want to show you what you can do if you want to add your middleware in your route group. All right, so what we can do now is we're just going to put in front of our prefix here. I'm just going to put a string and just going to call this middleware. Well, like this. Put a comma there so that we know that those two are separate. Okay. Okay, that's why. All right, so middleware. I'm just going to put a square bracket, an array, all right, like here. So then I'm going to do the auth. And now in this case, let's say we created that is admin um, in our kernel right here. Then you're going to do that as well. So you're going to put the middleware to an array with the two. It needs to be authenticated and it needs to be an admin. Right. You can do it like that. Right. And so then obviously with a prefix and as is admin. So this is basically our name routes, and this is the prefix in front of our URLs, and this is basically our middleware. All right. So then everything is neatly and nicely sorted so that you don't, let's say, you know, dashboard, let's say you forget to do this, then you know all your routes are protected right there. Okay. So especially if you have lots of controllers, you will know all of them is going to have this middleware. It's because sometimes you forget to do this. All right, then a certain route might not be protected. Okay, so if you do this, you know all of them are protected. Okay, that is just, I'm just doing this for learning purposes because this is a learning channel. <laughs> All right, so let me save that and I'm going to do this in here. So leave it as is. Like I said, it's all down to preference. Right, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video since I explain a bit too much, but I prefer to explain things because that's the way we learn stuff. All right, so let me just close this off and the web browser right here. So let me just close that off. So we got our admin right in here. Now the thing is what we want to do is now we want to reference that dashboard controller. So let's go to our route. Okay, and then we're gonna just gonna go just a get route, and then we basically gonna reference like this. Okay, and then we're gonna bring in our dashboard controller. Just dashboard controller. So as you can see, it imports the add one one right there, and then we're just going to do the class, and then we're going to reference that index method inside that, and then we're obviously just going to put the name is index. But remember, this will come out forward slash admin like this, okay, and the name will actually be admin dot index because of the prefix as right there. Okay, so now that's all done and set up. And the next one, what we're going to do is we're just going to create a seeder, a user seeder to seed our database. 
with the admin user and a couple of normal users. And then we're going to start building the application. And if we go to our browser right here, okay, so what we can do is if we log in as a normal user, we need to go to the admin page. And if we not log in as a normal user, we will go to a different page. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one where we're going to do a, use, a CEDA for the users. And yes, thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you give it a like. Dislike it if you don't like it. And comments, positive or negative, is always appreciated. Thank you guys and see you in the next one.